Another thing that ketamine does is it boosts something called BDNF, brain-derived neurotropic factor. Now, other things boost BDNF. For example, exercise boosts BDNF. That's one of the reasons probably why exercise has been shown to be as effective as SSRIs at treating mild to moderate depression. Now, maybe that's not saying a whole lot because they don't work great, but exercise boosts BDNF. But ketamine itself boosts it far more than exercise does. So it's like boosting it on steroids. And think of BDNF as miracle growth for the brain because it literally causes these nerves to regenerate those little dendrites, those branches. So really, after several, five or six ketamine infusions, we have achieved what I talked about, that arborization of the dendrites. And I think that's one of the reasons why we see such profound, fast relief of symptoms. We see a median 75% decrease in depression and anxiety symptoms in just two, three, four weeks. So another thing related to BDNF about why ketamine works so well is ketamine There's some data that ketamine itself can actually insert onto the same receptor that BDNF does. It's called the TRAC-B receptor, T-R-K-B, the TRAC-B receptor. So normally BDNF is this protein that inserts onto this receptor, this TRAC-B receptor, and then causes those nerves to start regenerating, right? New pathways being laid down. Well, ketamine itself can insert onto that TRAC-B receptor and mimic BDNF. It can mimic miracle growth to the brain. And the reason that's important is because some people, they're just, they genetically don't make that BDNF molecule fully normal. So the shape of that molecule is important. The shape of that protein, I should say. The shape of that protein is important. And they, for whatever reason, just in their genetics, don't make it normally. So some data that ketamine can kind of overcome that by inserting directly on that track B receptor and itself being miracle grow for the brain.